you mentioned your parents and, and, and you said never, ever having a connection with them. Can you delve into your child, childhood? It, can you explain that disconnect at all? If, if possible? I'd, you know, I'd rather not really get right. into that. Um, I, I wrote about all of that in my book. In your book. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's just too painful to kind of like, you know, go there and revisit that trauma over and over mm -hmm. again in conversations. Um, but yeah, I, I never felt love. You know, the first time mm -hmm. I experienced unconditional love was with um, a mentor when I was in college in Jackson, Mississippi. I went to Bellhaven in Jackson, and then I went to, of course, Howard in DC. Um, so my two father figures, my first father figure in Jackson, Spencer Perkins, he actually passed away when I was a junior. So he died suddenly my junior year. And my, um, my second father figure, Albert Wilkerson, he passed away in 2018. So he was actually um, in the documentary for a brief little bit. He wrote the foreword to my book, um, which I am incredibly grateful for, um, just, just right before he passed. So um, yeah, I pretty much like the only family I have is my kids mm. And, mm. My, and my siblings. You know, not not the biological sibling, but the other two siblings, Ezra and Zach, who were kind of like, you know, being being used by the parents as their like little mouthpieces during 2015. They've since apologized to me and broken ties with the parents. And so we've had an exodus of five out of six kids away from the influence of those parents. Um, and it's been healing to like reconnect with them and, you know, I, I love them cause I, I put, put all their diapers on and everything when they're babies. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah. So that's been, that's been maybe the silver lining a little bit, right. you know, just, um, kind of stabilizing all, all of the people that I love, like making sure everybody's stable and healthy and um, growing and doing their thing and achieving their goals. And yeah. so that's what truly makes me, you know, happy at the yeah. end of the day. Mm. 